do we think like let's just solidify Georgia? Let's just assume they roll and win the SEC title, number one seed, and away they go. See if they could repeat among the two in the Big Ten, and then of course what TCU has done. How do we feel about that as our top four? And then we know that one of those two are going to lose. Where do you think the loser is based on what we just talked about with Oregon or somebody representing a one loss Pac-12 championship? Go ahead, Clint. Yeah, look, I mean, I, I love Michigan and Ohio State being being two and three, I, I, and I love it because one of them's got to got to take the bull by the horns. One of them's got to win this thing out. I, if you're asking me, who do I think that is? I think that's what I heard you say. I, I would bet on Ohio State. I think Ohio State's defense. I know personally, I haven't talked enough about their defense. I think their defense is absolutely real. And I think when you look at the quarterback position, um, Ohio State wins that battle head over heels. And unless unless the the young fella at Michigan just comes out and surprises us all, which stranger things have happened. Michigan, Michigan gets good players and Harbaugh knows how to knows how to develop them. So we'll, it, it could happen. We'll see. Um, but I would pick Ohio State right there. I, I love those two both being in the mix simply because. They've got to play each other at this point in time. I I I believe in Ohio State being a top four team. I don't know that I'm a a huge believer in Michigan being a top four team right now. I think there's a, a lot left to be desired with Michigan. Um, but they are not an O. They've taken care of business. Other teams have fallen off. And and I think they're next in line. So the the one thing I don't like about the Ohio State Michigan neck and neck is the conversation that follows of can two Big Ten teams get into the the college football playoff? I, I think anything can happen. So, I mean, I, there's no need in sitting here saying, well, it can or it can't. But I, I'm assuming that other teams are going to remain one loss, at, like Tennessee or like Oregon or like USC or UCLA, whoever comes out of the Pac-12. Um, and I, I just don't think that a team can run a schedule of – a subpar schedule, let's just say that then lose a monster football game late in the season and still be considered to be a college football playoff team. So that's my only problem with Michigan and Ohio State being in the top four right now is that all of a sudden everybody wants to have a conversation of, well, if the loser may still get in, and I just – I'm pretty I'm pretty bullish on that. I, I don't think that should happen. Uh, think, George? So just to jog with you, the best – things that Michigan does run the ball and play defense travel like it doesn't matter the weather let it snow pouring down rain whatever it is poor field conditions the the things Michigan does best Ohio State Tennessee the rest of these teams we're perimeter teams we're airborne we move around we got little guys that like turn corners and all the rest of that stuff and we've been talking about this. Michigan's offensive line might be the best unit in college football, like the singular unit, a unit within a unit. So th- th- there is my faith in Michigan. Yes, they were not – those kids were not there when the schedule got put together, but they're handling it Saturday in, Saturday out. The loser of Ohio State-Michigan is going to be in an interesting deal because they're going to sit next to Oregon and Tennessee right now, right? And, yeah, something strange could happen, but right now – uh, oh, TCU, Oregon, and Tennessee, and the loser of Ohio State and Michigan. If you just look at o- Oregon and Tennessee, they all three, the Michigan and Ohio State loser, has a top – they lost to a top three team. Oregon lost to a top three team, and so did Tennessee. They all can claim it. They lost to a top three team. Now, you can go back over the body of work, whatever it is, but I do know this. When the committee does get in there, they do have that human element. Yes, resumes. Yes, strength of schedule, but also eyeball test. And that's where that loser of that, the rivalry, it will get a lot of credibility because these two are your heavyweights and they've been so since the beginning of the season. And really, they've been so over the last couple of years. If Clemson got this much love on legacy, for what they've been doing and hell some of them kids aren't even in football anymore and they're still getting all this credibility what are you going to do with ohio state and michigan which combined has two losses in the last year plus and one of them is in the playoffs so i think it's going to be very interesting but um 
the eyeball test is absolutely going to figure in. You're not going to say TCU can beat Michigan or Ohio State in a neutral site. Oregon, you can make a case. T Tennessee, you could certainly make a case. And then it's going to get messy and human and all the rest of that stuff. But it will be some drama if, if these two play it close. But but here here's here's the deal to me is one. I mean Tennessee's schedule with they I mean, they've beaten Alabama and LSU. They got two top ten top ten victories. That 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 should that should stomp a mud hole in Ohio State or Michigan's ass if they're if they're both one and one you know with one loss football teams. But but to to you like George to me like and this is kind of where I view it from right is like if if Michigan and or Ohio State, whoever it is, it can't be both, obviously, but whichever one loses in is a one-loss football team. At that point in time, it shouldn't be, well, can TCU play with Ohio State? No, let's question if Ohio State can play with TCU. TCU has six wins versus plus 500 football teams this year. The other guys don't, right? So I, I agree with you that it's a – there's a legacy play, which I fucking – I hate. Excuse my language. Sorry, sorry, yo. I absolutely hate um, the eyeball test. I've watched Ohio State. Um, I hadn't watched a ton of Michigan, but I've watched a lot of Ohio State. They don't – They this, this isn't a – they're really good. Don't get me wrong. Really good football team. But I don't sit there and go, eyeball test top four. Eyeball test no-brainer over whoever's got one loss. Like, I just I – don't, I don't watch that at all. Um, oh, man. I would invite you to watch some more Ohio State. It, you, I don't what, what, give me the moment. What, what do you want me to watch? What do you want, what do you want me to watch? Well, they have no natural vulnerability. They have no natural weakness. There isn't anything that team can't do. Last year, the defense was porous. They turned into a track team, and we're just going to have to gun you down from start to finish. They don't do that. If we have a four-minute offense now, if we need to choke you out, we can pounce on you early if we have to. We can run you off the field and make plays defensively, and we're never, never, never pressed. George, what State's game? What game pressed. are you watching? I'm just what, what talking game? about their their entire. I mean, the, the last the every... last three ball games. The last three ball games. Yep. They have left a ton to be desired. What team? A ton hasn't? to be desired. The huh? number one team that you praise that sits at the top, escaped at home versus a Kent State team. We're not flashes. talking about them. Go flashes. We're not. We're not talking State. about them. But I'm we're just saying, what them. team doesn't have? Nobody's played the whole season perfect. And even when Michigan played it perfect, you said their schedule is imperfect. So you could really no, 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 find no. But George, there's not. You can't. You can't. Like once a team proves, like a, it, like there's teams that haven't played anybody. So you got to question. Okay, are they really that good? Are they really? Are they really that good? I mean, we've talked so, about the strength of schedule with Ohio State. Like you can't. We can't go. Oh, the eyeball test. Oh, legacy. No, I've, 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 I watched them struggle with Iowa. If I would not turn the football over six times, that ball game's not I – mean, that ball, that's a different ball game. What do you mean? Uh, to, to turn the ball over, somebody has to take the ball from you. Come on, you know George. That. Did you watch that game? I watched every play of it. Iowa and Northwestern hung around. So hold, hold a second. Hold a second. Give me, give, me, give me one moment in the last three ball games with, with, with Ohio State where you, where you sat back in your chair and was like, damn, these dudes are strong on offense. I mean – they're never weak on offense. Well, that's they, not, we're, talk, we're talking about a top four team. We're talking I'm about a no-brainer. So I, I'll play your game because you, you keep pinning it to Ohio State. They no, we're, we're having an Ohio State, State conversation. They have a horseshit schedule so far. Nobody else in the they, top does. But that's not on them. They they play. They blew up twenty eight points in the last six minutes against Penn State. They're the big horse that. You might stay with them for a little bit, and they get up and leave you. It's the same criticism TCU gets. Ohio State just doesn't get the benefit of going over there and messing around in the Big 12. Kansas was Cinderella for a minute, died off, went off to wherever they went to. Like, it's not on Ohio State. That what, what is – okay, okay, okay. Give me, give, me, give, me one, give me one Heisman moment for C.J. Stroud this year. You want a moment. In, any the, pick one. You watched them. You watched them all. Pick one. Give me a give me a quarter of football. Give me a drive. Give me something that you went. Boom. Oh, that's hell. it right there. I'm glad you asked. The second half, the two fourth quarter drives against Notre Dame to choke them out. That they needed that. The fourth quarter against Penn State, guiding them because they weren't really running the ball in the first half. If you watched that game, and they came on through in the second half, that was strong. It's a body of work. 
If you want a moment that Sports Center is going to reel, I don't know if you have that, but there's a reason why CJ right. Stroud is sitting at the top of the Heisman. And it's a reason why Ohio State's yeah, sitting right, there. right, right. You got to take the whole body of work. You know who does have moments? A who? whole lot of teams that are not at 25, they got moments. And you know who does okay. have a whole lot of cool highlights? A whole lot of kids who aren't going to New York. If you want like the little clip, Hendon Hooker, Bryce Young, we, we can talk about their moments all day long. They're, they're all over the map. But this deal don't come down to clips. It comes down to body of work. And if you didn't like something, if, you if didn't everybody, like, if everybody played a cupcake schedule, everybody would have a body of work. George, like you can't, I mean, no, you, can't, you no, gotta, no. I can't. So you're just opposed to having any conversations about Ohio State. Yogi, You're opposed okay. to having any conversations about oh, Ohio I love, State. I no, love no, the past. Yogi, allow me a second here, Yogi. Because okay. I, I love this, and people keep going after the schedule, schedule, schedule. What do you think Ohio State would do if they went down and played Missouri? What, what are we doing? Missouri? Right, exactly. The number you don't pick one Vanderbilt team next? Now. What are we doing? The number one team in the country had the lead against Missouri for the last 45 seconds of the game, and that was it. They needed a game-winning drive. To go down and beat Missouri, who, because of that, Coach Drinkowitz got the, the team you're talking about beat Oregon 49 to three, boss. It's 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 off the table. That's correct. They had it's a off high, the table. They had some lows. They had a high. It's off the table. We we don't we don't need to bring Georgia into this conversation. No, it's off the you, table. No, no, you do need to bring or, or oh, you don't. into the conversation because everybody has looked mortal this season. Everybody has looked mortal. Point a and, team out that's and one different. team and one team has been challenged challenged significantly less than anybody else in the conversation, and you don't want to acknowledge that. It'd be Michigan technically because their schedule is lighter than Ohio State's. But okay, keep, there's there's two of them for you. They happen Ohio. to reside okay. in the same okay. division in the same conference. What would Ohio State do with TCU's schedule? You took too long. They they'd obliterate it. What do you think Michigan would do in the Big Twelve? You took too long. They'd obliterate it. What would either one of them do with Clemson's schedule? You're you missing the question, the George. George, the question is, what would Ohio State do? The answer is that, what that, would that Ohio State me. do versus a top 10 football team? You want to talk about Missouri and Vanderbilt. I thought we were talking a college football playoff top 10. What would they do versus a top 10 team? What they'd they do? beat them. Because have seen it. They'd beat them. What do you mean you haven't seen it? Who do you think Ohio State is, and how do you think they got there? And who do you think Michigan is, and how do you think they got there? You think these are just two Cinderellas who made a couple wrong left turns and showed you up? You want to tell party? me about what they did last year? You want to tell me about what they did last year? Hell, it matters. That's how Georgia's sitting at number one. We don't just start this thing. Uh, we have a preseason. They just right? beat the number one team in the country. Who's that? Georgia just beat Tennessee. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Very good. Okay. All right. We're going to go, hit pause. You got to keep going. We're going to hit pause. That ain't the season, though. You know that, right? That ain't the whole season. Okay. Unless All you right. just want to sit down there. Hold on. Hold on. This is why I get to host the show. Okay. Appreciate the passion. Take a well, breath. Well Take done, Yogi. I got to give me some more. Yeah, Yogi, you say it. I'm going to put a, a bow on this discussion. 